I was so broke, I couldn't even afford to wipe my ass. No toilet paper, couldn't afford water. Using grass, using a sock, you find... Anyway, being homeless, being dead broke is, I'd say, a critical element into being a successful entrepreneur. Uh, I look at my past and how broke I used to be and how I had an amazing quality life. I, I loved being broke. I was forced homeless, forced on the welfare, couldn't work, had injury, and, you know, and I love, fucking loved it, man. I was Huckleberry Finn, all right? Absolutely loved it. Camping out, you know, sleep on the beaches in Port Douglas, you know, couldn't afford rent because I preferred to have, buy organic fruit. I had the choice between organic fruit or rent. And I'm like, I'm going organic fruit. You know, that, that was my reality back then. People called me crazy. Well, fine. But I was Huckleberry Finn. I was Henry David Thoreau. And I had a fucking amazing life. All the skills I learned being resourceful, traveling, you know, minimizing, being more eco, that's what has built me. Uh, my empire today, where I don't have to ever worry about money ever again. I make so much money now, I often pause and go, what am I doing? What, what, how much money do I need? Uh, and I I get very passionate about helping other people, you know, get into these money-making avenues dreams. Because I'm like, well, hey, well, what, what, what am I doing? I'm always just, and I'm like, I'm only doing this because no one else is doing it. So I might as well do it. I'm just basically just putting my hand out, you know, and just grabbing the cash. Because it's like, well, it's, just, it's just flowing past me, you know. And I'm trying to say, hey, hey, other people, you, look at this cash here. You can have some too. Or right, I'm just sticking my vascular arm in this big pipeline of cash. Just, just, you know, just sort of like bringing it over here. Because I feel like an idiot just walking past the stream. There's all this money floating down the street, and I'm like, well, I might as well. No one else is grabbing it. I might as well grab it, you know? That's why I share my money-making tips in my coaching group, doingrod.com. Because, you know. But anyway, so I was talking to a mate the other day. And uh, if you're in my circle, I fucking hound you with tips and hints. And like, do this, do that. You know, don't do this, don't do that. Invest in this, don't invest in that. You know, because that's just who I am. I like to share the abundance, you know. Simple as that. I'm the guy, when I split up from... Uh, nine year relationship, I was like, hey bro, you want to, you want her, because I'm out, I'm done, you know, and you, you're broke, you you know, you guys would be a good match, you know, that's the sort of guy I am, I am like, total non-attachment, what's going to be better situation, etc, okay, now some people see up me as spiteful, arrogant, whatever, I get it, but that's just who I am, I'm the dude who's like, if I can't use it, you use it, you know, I'm not going to hoard it and hog it. So, I really just, this is, yeah, no way. So anyway, so I was talking to a mate, and uh, and I said to me, actually, I'm a bit on your back, and I realized, like, you know, it's like, you probably don't want me just fucking drum, drum, drumming into you. Like, this is my projection onto you, basically. And who am I to say that someone should not be dead broke when all the skills I learned, majority of the skills I learned was when I was dead broke. And there's nothing wrong with being dead broke, all right? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> if it is broke, you don't need to fix it. You don't need to make a lot of money, okay? If you are happy, sleep on the beach in Port Douglas, like I used to be, versus you live in the condo in Port Douglas, which I've done, and lived in the fucking beach in Port Douglas, which I've done. And to be honest, the beach option was was just as much fun as the condo option, you know? Coconuts drop around your head, and you, know, you wake up, and you're all like, just, you know, so who am I to say that you should be making lots of money, you know? I'm not, I'm just, you know, that's, everyone has their different path, and uh, as I get older, I realize, you know, everybody out there, you, me, we're all living the exact life we really want, you know? If you wanted to have kids, you had kids. If you didn't want to have kids, you didn't have kids. If you wanted to be fat and obese with fucking all sorts of issues, then that's, you, you've chosen that. You've eaten those things and you haven't done the sport. You, you've just, you've done all, like, you know what I mean? Like, we've done it all, you know? We've done what every, you know, what's brought us today, our lifestyle we live today. We've done certain choices and et cetera. And they're all things that we've 
wanted to do. You know? Simple as that. Like, the, I walk, we went in attachment for water, and just get some water, and and there's, like, these junkies are sleeping out rough. And they want to do that. They want to do that. All right? Just like people would probably walk past me on the beach in Port Douglas and go, oh, look at that poor guy. I wanted to be sleeping on the beach in Port Douglas. All right? So, yeah, that's a, that's a big one. It's, it's a, That's one of my biggest faults. Is it a fault? Yeah, it's probably a fault. Is I'm very, very pushy. And that what makes me, you know, one of the best coaches in the world in terms of financial advice, etc. And having a life of freedom. Because there's plenty of people out there who make a lot of cash, but they have fuck all freedom. Because you get so addicted to making the money and then you have all this responsibility, but you have like pretty much zero freedom. So it's a very, it's a, it's a trap, man. It's a trap. Like you can just get so addicted to making the cash because making money is just so easy. Once you know how, it's like, I mean, it sounds really corny and really MLM and whatever, pyramid schemish, but it's true. Once you learn how to make money, it is fucking, it's just, it's so easy. It's just insane. And then once you can be resourceful and saving money and stuff like that. But if you say if you if you say the word saving money, that's that's like saying the word sugar. That's like a dirty thing to say, isn't it? Save money. Well, people don't people don't want to save money. People want to get that big bag of cash to blast on shit. <laughs> and that's what I mean. If you've if you've got stuff that people want to blast money on, fucking you're just printing money, literally printing money. Go to bed, wake up, boom, ching ching. I, I go to sleep every night. I wake up in the morning, check my bank. You know what I mean? Getting paid to sleep. Getting paid to root. Getting paid to ride. ka -ching. Lifestyle freedom. But, uh, you know. So, yeah, that's that's the... I, I, wanna, I do want to apologize. This video is basically an apology to people out there. Sorry for being hard tasker. Being on your back. Push, push, push. And I guess a lot, I'll push a lot of people away. Because people want... You know, they want to be around me or whatever because the energy I get it but then I'm like I realise that like no I'm, I'm going to stop doing that I mean unless it's in my coaching group people ask me questions I'm going to stop jumping on people's back hey you should buy this investment like, you know, unless people are going to ask me the questions everyone knows I'm available or I, I'll, I answer every single question in my coaching group I, I put myself available there every, unlimited questions you've got if, if you've got 10,000 questions Literally, I'll answer every single question in that coaching group. So, uh, simple as that. Like, you can literally join my coaching group and sit there for 12 hours a day asking me questions. I'm going to fucking answer them. Yeah? I log in there and I check the questions and we answer them. Boom. And if they're not answered clearly, you ask again and we answer more clearly. So, you, so it's done. That's what I offer. But yeah, so we got to... The best thing I could, I could recommend young people out there... You know, it's going to sound crazy, but it's again, look, look at the freedom I have and look at the freedom your parents have. If you're watching this, you're 18, you're 20, your parents are probably the same age as me. I'm 47, approaching 50, turning 14 mentally, <laughs> maturity wise. So look at the freedom I have and then I compare that to what your parents have. So if, if you'd like the parents, the level of freedom and lifestyle your parents have, then ignore me, listen to your parents. If you like the freedom I have, then do as I say. And, uh, and follow my advice and literally work on that. But again, it's it's not for everyone, you know, like not everyone wants to travel the round, around the world and have be super fit and lean and eat freaking pizza every day and whatever. What You know, just, just live this Huckleberry Finn lifestyle, man. A lot of people hate Huckleberry Finn. A lot of people don't know who Huckleberry Finn is. So, uh, or Henry, uh, Walden's Pond. You know, everyone should read Walden's Pond uh, or Walden. It's, uh, yeah. But anyway, so being homeless, being dead broke, fucking blessing, man. Like, I, if you want to, if you want to be a kick-ass entrepreneur, you need to have, you know, z zero money in the bank and live basically on welfare check to check. And that just teaches you so much resourcefulness and teaches you a simple life. And if, if you can't live on welfare and be dead broke, you will never, ever, ever get close to tapping into a true entrepreneurial skill. You will never learn to be a full-on fucking hustler. The best hustlers I've ever met, have, again, have been dead, fucking broke, homeless, you know what I mean? And some of them obviously, obviously hustle absolute bullshit and scam people. And that's, you know, obviously that's wrong, but that, that hunger, you know, is there. But, so we want to be the opposite. We want to be the hustler that's helping save the planet versus the hustler that's just creating more problems than, you know, 
etc. But that's the deal. So being homeless, rate it. I fuck, stop paying rent. If you're paying rent, stop that. Stop paying a cent for rent. Tent is the new rent. Camp out. Stop paying rent. Stop paying for food. Just stop spending money. Just, just zero bills. Total freedom. Go full ground zero monk mode uh, with money, and then you just you just become so fucking resourceful. If you have zero money, you have one of the greatest gifts on the planet. Now, again, if you're watching this in South Sudan at a refugee camp, you might disagree with me, and I get that. But you no know, one, no one in this, no one's watching from South Sudan refugee camp. You're watching in Australia, watching in Germany. So go with zero money. Uh, don't be a parasite, but be environmental. And the more eco you are, the the better lifestyle quality you'll have. It's so true, you know. And the less eco you are, the more of a poor quality life you're really going to have, and you're going to look and feel and perform very, very terribly. The less eco you are, especially long term. Anyway, this is full off tangent, off cuff, no script, no jump cut. Homelessness massively underrated. You know, and, and people think, oh, I'm having a mental breakdown or whatever. No, you're just having a consciousness expansion there. And again, no drugs. Say no to drugs. No weed, no booze, no Xanax, none of that shit. Just full natty bra. Full natty bra. Time in nature. All your carbs. Unlimited sugar, water. You know, the game, they, they want you off sugar. They want you off sugar. <laughs> they have the Matrix. Andrew Tate, Jamie Oliver, Joe Rogan, the TV. You know, freaking uh, CNN, all these mainstream agendas out there pushing uh, Alex Jones, all just pushing this anti sugar message. When you have less sugar, you have less energy. When you have less energy, you are fucked. You are like a puppet on strings. So, oh, I'm just so tired, I can't do shit. Okay, just Mr. Puppeteer, just puppet me for my life. I've got no energy to break free. I remember a friend of mine's like, I want to get a divorce, but I don't have the energy. I'm like, bro, get more sugar in there. And he got more sugar in there and he fucking bounced from the ball and chain. Now he's just railing hotties in Thailand. So yeah, just with a vasectomy. So yeah, sugar for the win. If you know, you know. Uh, 